Join me in this episode of Data Exposed for a special Azure Data Community Announcement from Buck Woody. Hi, I'm Anna Hoffman, and welcome to this episode of Data Exposed. This is a special episode where I'll be sharing a video from Buck Woody on a special Azure Data Community Announcement. Hello, my name is Buck Woody from the Azure Data Group here at Microsoft. Well, the data community has faced many changes over the years. Uh, Microsoft always has and always will support the technical professionals who use our platform to do amazing things. Our focus isn't just on events, sessions, and other forms. We are fully committed to local user groups who are the lifeblood of our community. So we've created a program called the Azure Data Community. Our philosophy is that local groups should be community owned and Microsoft empowered. To that end, we've created a series of assets, resources, and benefits for your local community group leader to run your group. Now, the first asset we created is an entry site for the Azure Data Community. This page serves as a gateway, not a destination. It highlights community events, Microsoft most valuable professionals in the Azure data area, and other resources that the community might find interesting. We are also providing access to Meetup Pro to those qualified community groups. This allows scheduling, tracking, and implementation of your local events, whether they are virtual or, when it's safe, in person. And we're also providing a full community teams subscription to qualifying community group leaders. This allows your group to have the full functionality of Microsoft Teams, including chat, video, voice, file storage, applications, and much more. This edition of Microsoft Teams comes with a predefined community template, which you can alter to suit your group's needs. There are secure channels for your officers, places for your members to chat, the ability to meet virtually, present content, and a location to store content. You can change that template to run your local community group as you see fit. The Teams subscription also allows you to connect with other community groups. And we're also going to be facilitating a periodic meeting of community group leaders so that your group can help each other out share best practices, and much more. Now, if you already have your own tools, processes, and platforms, we'd still like to help. If you will let us know the contact for your community group location, we'll make sure it's highlighted on the community page. In any case, we're here to help, but you are in charge. Now, if your local group focuses on these technologies, then your community group leader can apply for the benefits. If you've already applied, we're working through that acceptance and onboarding process uh, right now. We believe that effective community groups are local, focused on the technology that the industries, organizations, and members use in the places right where they live and work. We also believe that community groups that are effective are helpful finding projects they can assist local companies and organizations with, helping members find jobs or improve their careers, and being a champion for diversity and inclusion. We believe that effective community groups are impactful, helping groups like DigiGirls and other outreach programs, working with volunteer groups, and being a responsible community citizen to make a difference. Well, to learn more, access the Azure Data Community Gateway at this address. Click the Find a User Group to locate the closest Azure Data Group to join. If you're a local group leader, click the Learn More button to read more information and start your application process. Well, we're excited for this new phase of the Azure Data Community, and we can't wait to see what you create. Let's go do great things. Great message on the importance of the Azure Data community and how we're doing what we can to help. Thank you so much, Buck. 
And if you like this video, please like this video, share it with your colleagues, and we hope to see you next time on Data Exposed. Thank you.